what exactly is find game object with tags? Well, this is a function that returns a game object if it has a tag assigned to it. So for example, if we create a cube and we give it a tag, so say we want to give it a finish tag, or if we want to create our own, we can hit add tag and add one for this is a cube. Copy that so I can use it later. Go back to our cube here. And we can put this as a cube and we can name them Bob, duplicate that, test, duplicate that, and call it something else. So we have three cubes, three different names with this tag. So if we go into our script and on start, we say game objects, or actually, let's say list game objects. So we want to get a list of game objects g's is equal to game object dot find game objects with tag and in here we want to find this tag so this is a cube and if we get this uh this is because this returns an array so if we want to we can declare this in two ways we can say game object like that or we can say if you want to work with a list just list game object and at the very end here just put to list and then alt enter and imports import system dot link and you can convert that over but regardless if we say for each run a for each loop game object g gs or game g gs in gs and debug.log. And we're just going to return g.name. Now, if we go back into our scene, grab our main camera, and drag on our find tower with tags that I've created, and press play, you'll see that we get something else test on Bob. It ran through and found all three of these objects because these three objects had the tag and nothing else did. We have one other method that kind of goes with this and that is, I'm going to delete this, where you say game object g is equal to game object dot find game object with tag. So we have a singular version of this. So if you're only looking for one, because you only have something that has one tag on it in the scene, then you can use this. And we can say it's a and we'll say debug dot log single instance plus g dot name. So we should only return uh, I believe it's whatever comes first in the hierarchy. So we press play. Everything ran, and then single instance something else. So it actually grabbed the bottom one. It grabbed the last one in the scene. So this was great if you have, say, like a game manager or something like that, and you give it a tag game manager, and you know you're only going to use it once, then finding a game object with tag will work. Everything else that you have multiple of, you'll use the find game objects with tag to return them into an array or a list, and then you can do what you need with that. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please subscribe or join the Discord, and we can talk it out there. Thanks for watching.